Okay, today, folks, we're going to talk about capacitors. You see all these capacitors? It's kind of like my junk shelf where I have my guys bring in capacitors. You know, and when you get out in the field, technicians, and some of you homeowners that are industrious and trying to fix stuff yourself, you go out and you start looking. A capacitor is usually a round silver cylinder, okay? It's usually going to have a combination capacitor. It's going to have three prongs. A single capacitor is going to have two prongs, okay? So combination dual single capacitor. And, and in the field you're going to find capacitors of different problems. You're going to find rusty capacitors. See how rusty that one is? It was no good. It was bad. You're going to find swollen capacitors. See how this one's swollen and rusty. This thing take a good life. This one here is another swollen capacitor. And that's something you need to look at. First thing you want to do when you see a capacitor, you want to visually look at the capacitor. See if you see anything unusual like it's swollen. In this case, uh, the one that fell on the floor, the top had popped off. See how it had broken out? It swollen and busted. Some of them are burnt. Some of the tops are just burnt. They're just combination of everything. But here, now you say, what do I do? I carry all these capacitors on my trucks? No. Somebody's already solved that problem for us, and here it is. You've heard of the turbo, turbo capacitors? And they have three different capacitors, okay? And with these three different capacitors, it can handle all those other capacitors over everything in any combination, any system that you have. Okay, let's talk about them individually just for a second. The small uh, turbo mini capacitor can handle anything up to 12 microfarads. Okay, and it actually can resolve and take away seven different capacitors. This is good for seven different capacitors, this one. And if you want to open it up, we'll look at it here real quick. See the, see the, this here is your fan. It's green, brown, and the white one. And let's just say, for instance, we have a, I'll just pick this one up. That's a seven microfarad capacitor. See the seven microfarad? Don't be worried about the 370 or the 440 volts that you'll read on these capacitors, like this one's 370. Don't worry about that. That's not really going to make that big of a difference. So that was a seven. Okay, so this one's going to be easy. Okay, it's a seven. Okay, it's, this is seven and a half, so I'm just going to go from seven and a half. Then I'm going to bring, this here's your common terminal. You're going to bring your other fan wire into this. Okay? Let's talk about the Turbo 200. The one that covers a multitude of capacitors. First thing I want to point out to you, you, you always want to try to put these capacitors in a vertical position. And actually as it sees, it says keep in an upright position. Because these things have a, a oil in them and I think it overheats if you turn them to the side. So, but this particular capacitor here, here's what you do. You just take your capacitor. Let me take all this paperwork off of it. Here's your different terminals. Two and a half, five, the white's five, the blue is 25. Okay, so let's just look at this second. We're just going to pick one out here randomly. This one here is a... 30. So what we do, we we'll come in here and look and see what we've got. And this, by the way, is a combination capacitor, too. You can actually put your fan here, which is usually going to be your brown wire, off of the other capacitor. And here is a compressor. So this one here is 30. So I'm going to jump a wire from here. They conveniently come with wires here. I recommend that you save these wires too. When you don't, you'll have usually three or four extra. Just save them because they come in handy for other stuff. So I'm going to go 20 and 
30. Then I'm going to put my other wire from the compressor here. This is my common. And I'll put my fan here. And that's how you wire. I'll do another video later and show you how to actually hook these up, okay? We'll go through that. And of course, here's the, the big one, the Turbo 200X. This is for your big capacitors, your big units, like your 4-ton, your 5-ton units, sometimes commercial. Once again, do it in the vertical position. I'm just going to pick this one up here. This here is a 70. 70 microfarad. So we would come over here. 10, 20. Okay, so I'm going to jump 50 and 20. That's all I'm going to do. So there's really not much to this, guys. These things have a five-year warranty on them. So if they tear up for five years, you can charge your customer a little bit more. And you homeowners, you're going to pay a little bit more. Because this is an American-made capacitor made right here in Florida. It's going to cost you a little bit more money. But this right here, folks, is a great capacitor. This really works well. I've got some out there I've had for seven or eight years. They're still in there running. So if you have any questions about these turbo capacitors, you can look at online with us at jonesairconditioning.com. Or give us a call at 239-596-58 if you want any instruction on how to wire these up. Let me show you something else real quick. The instruction manual comes in here. And all you got to do is read this. This is from the, from the fan. Wire from the compressor. These are your jump wires. This is what I just done. So let me just show this real quick to you. You're going to take your wire from your compressor which is going to be your orange a lot of times. And then you're just going to jump it out. If you'll look at these directions, they're actually very simple. And here's one that's hooked up. See how it's all tied into place? So this here's the fan wire. That brown wire is the fan wire. So they've got this hooked up. It's not a great picture to see how the other wire is going, but I'm going to do a video to show you how that works. Just call us if you have any questions. JonesAirConditioning.com, 239-596-58. Bye-bye. Thank you.